Who among us hasn't dreamed of having a house by the sea? How we look forward to a vacation to go to the sea and enjoy the bright sun and foam waves. But many seas on our planet are not as welcoming and affectionate as they seem at first glance. Huge poisonous jellyfish, underwater predators, unexplained phenomena, dangerous currents are just a small part of the possible reasons why you don't want to swim in most seas. Sargasso Sea This sea covers an area of over 6 million square kilometers and is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean. There is almost no wind at this sea because the sea is located in a zone of high atmospheric pressure. That is why a lot of ships disappeared here, which simply could not budge because of the complete calm. Also, huge algae plantations become a trap for ships, which impede the movements of the ship. Also, this sea has received ill fame because it is located in the mysterious zone of the Bermuda Triangle, in which many ships and planes have disappeared. Many seafarers to this day try to keep away from this place. Caribbean Sea Most people associate the Caribbean Sea with magical nature and turquoise water. It is just a paradise on Earth. There are many modern resorts, incredibly beautiful landscapes shrouded in mysteries and legends about pirates. You always need to be on the alert, because there are over 600 species of marine flora in the Caribbean Sea. Here you can stumble upon poisonous physalia. These creatures look incredible. They shimmer with many colors and look like enormous bubbles. But don't try to touch these unusual creatures you can immediately get a dose of toxins that are injected in your skin. Physalia venom is very similar to cobra venom. Timor Sea The Timor Sea covers an area of about 430,000 square kilometers. It washes the island of Timor, part of Australia and the coast of Indonesia. The sea area is located in the zone of tectonic plate splitting, which is why its depth doesn't exceed 250 meters. The only place with a great depth is the Timor Trough, a depth of 3,300 meters. This is the most suitable place for the emergence of powerful typhoons. The raging cyclone Tracy seriously damaged the city of Darwin in 1974, and in 2017, the cyclone Francis impressed everyone with its power. Gusts of wind reaches 120 kilometers per hour. Such weather events seriously affect the work of oil refineries. When the hurricane approaches, all employees are urgently evacuated to the mainland. Erminger Sea It occupies an area of about 780,000 square kilometers. This sea is known for its powerful storms. In the northern parts of the sea, cold and warm currents intersect, which is why the windiest strip of salt water is here. The Erminger Sea is rightfully considered one of the most stormy places on our planet. Oceanologists study this place very carefully because of the power currents and the strongest hurricanes. Also, scientists are attracted by the complex topography of the seafloor, an unusual phenomenon called the waterfall at the bottom of the Denmark Strait, which is 4,000 meters high, especially attracted their attention. In terms of its power, this underwater waterfall exceeds Niagara Falls. Dead Sea The Dead Sea washes the shores of Israel, Palestine, and Jordan. It is located 430 meters below the world ocean level. The indicators of mineral salts here are almost nine times higher than in the Mediterranean Sea, 350 grams per liter of water. That is why there are no living creatures in the Dead Sea. This sea is ideal for recovery, but it's not that simple. You can get burns while staying for over 20 minutes in the water. Also, in no case you should not swallow water from the Dead Sea. You risk getting poisoning and problems with your urinary system and cardiovascular organs. Another serious problem is the sudden occurrence of sinkholes in the coastal zone, which are impossible to predict or guess. South China Sea The South China Sea is a huge reservoir with an area of over 3,500 square meters. It is located between Indonesia, the Philippines, Brunei, and Indochina. 
This sea poses a threat in the form of jellyfish, which are called sea wasps. These creatures are almost invisible in the water, but their tentacles are full of the strongest poison of neurotoxin. In winter, reverse currents perpendicular to the shore are raging in this sea. These currents are so strong that even an experienced swimmer can't handle them. There are often hurricanes, which cause huge waves up to 4 meters high. In 2017, the typhoon Damri dealt a serious blow. The wind speed reached up to over 110 km per hour, especially affecting the roofs of buildings, which were blown into small pieces. Black Sea The Black Sea is the youngest sea on Earth. Its age is 8,000 years. Every year, thousands of tourists from different parts of the world come to the Black Sea coast who have no idea how dangerous it is. Already starting from a depth of 200 meters, there is a layer of hydrogen sulfide, which is very toxic. That is why only some bacteria can exist at greater depths. All sea creatures live in the upper layers of the Black Sea, and almost 90% of the sea is lifeless. The Black Sea is quite calm, but has two powerful circular currents, which are called Knipovich spectacles. The Black Sea has an unusual structure. It has several different layers that never mix. It's in the upper layer, which is rich in oxygen, and is where almost all living creatures live. Its height is approximately 50 meters. Since the Black Sea is almost isolated from the world ocean, the level of hydrogen sulfide is very high here. When a violent storm begins, hydrogen sulfide vapors can rise to the surface. This is very dangerous because when in contact with the air, hydrogen sulfide can cause a powerful explosion. If such an explosion occurs, it will be equivalent to the fall of an asteroid weighing about half of the moon. The Black Sea region is distinguished by increased seismic activity. A powerful earthquake can trigger the release of huge amounts of toxic substances, which in turn will cause acid rains. Thousands of people will die in such a catastrophe, and the rest will have to move far away from the sea. At the famous resort Kobliwa, once there was a poisonous gas emission. At that time, more than 100 tons of fish died. Maximum hydrogen sulfide is at a depth of 200 meters. There, its level is almost 10 milligrams per liter of water. According to a rough estimate revealed by scientists, the amount of hydrogen sulfide in the Black Sea is more than 3 billion tons. This is much more than in any other sea on our planet. Other studies have shown that the Black Sea also contains a huge amount of methane. This gas comes to the surface quite rarely, but cases of poisoning of sea creatures have been recorded. In 1927, after the Crimean earthquake, the gas cloud burst to the surface. The witnesses of this phenomenon sensed the strong smell of hydrogen sulfide and saw a huge flame over the sea. During the earthquake, there was also a thunderstorm. That's what caused the fire. Where does the huge amount of hydrogen sulfide come from in the Black Sea? Some scientists claim that hydrogen sulfide is released from the Earth's crust faults at the bottom of the Black Sea. Other scientists believe that hydrogen sulfide in large quantities is formed because of rotting at the bottom of the organic remains. Since the water circulation here is quite bad, it accumulates there. Scientists believe the organic matter of the Dnieper, Danube, and other tributaries of the Black Sea can also cause that damage. Another version of a high concentration of hydrogen sulfide is the presence of anaerobic sulfate-reducing bacteria. To date, experts who are studying this problem are very concerned because the cases of gas emissions to the surface have become more frequent. Such phenomena can be dangerous for the inhabitants of the Black Sea, as well as for the inhabitants of the entire Black Sea coast. An interesting solution to this problem was the use of hydrogen sulfide as a source of electricity but apparently they haven't figured out how to do this yet. Have fun wisely. Don't swim far, but better to swim along the coast. Any reservoir can be dangerous. Don't forget about it. Our planet consists of 70% water. Today about 95% of the water expanses remain poorly explored or unexplored at all. 
The bulk of all creatures living in the seas and oceans live no more than 50 meters deep. The world's oceans are home to many amazing creatures that feel great at great depths. They are not bothered by high pressure or pitch darkness or lack of food or just a cold environment. The features of deep sea creatures are determined by their habitat conditions. The most basic difference is their simplified organization, flat body and long limbs. Here you can find echinoderms, mollusks, crustaceans and planktonic organisms. Let's get acquainted with the most incredible deep sea inhabitants. The deepest sea fish was discovered in 2014 at the bottom of the Mariana Trench and is called Pseudoliparis swiri or Mariana snailfish. This deep sea creature is a predator and has been recorded at a depth of 8,200 meters. Its length is about 10 centimeters. Blobfish This deep sea dweller is very different from ordinary fish and looks like an alien or a monster from sci fi movies. The size of the blobfish is no more than 30 centimeters. It lives at the bottom of the ocean near Tasmania and Australia. This fish has a spur on the front that closely resembles a human nose with eyes on each side. This fish has practically no muscles and resembles a slug. Its lifestyle is very similar to that of the sloth. The blobfish swims slowly, hoping that small prey will fall into its open mouth by themselves. Meanwhile, this creature doesn't have to worry about its safety. The blobfish is completely inedible. Nevertheless, it remains on the verge of extinction. The shark from the anime In 2018, American scientists discovered a new species of deep-sea shark named Squalus clarkae. This fish has vast and amazing eyes that resemble an alien or cartoon character. The shark is named after Eugenie Clark, a marine biologist who was the first woman to study sharks. This shark lives in the western Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. Its length is about 70 centimeters. All 20 species of squalus sharks need to be protected and studied. Japanese Spider Crab These creatures live off the coast of Japan. They can be found at depths of 50 to 300 meters. The Japanese spider crab can weigh up to 40 kilograms. The crabs look very fantastic and frightening because the span of their legs is about 3 meters and can reach up to 3.7 meters. Another impressive thing is that according to scientists, these amazing creatures can live up to 100 years. Pinnate Batfish This deep-sea dweller is very far from ordinary fish in its appearance. It doesn't look like them at all and can't even swim. Nevertheless, the pinnate batfish is a fish that moves on the bottom thanks to its fins, very similar to legs. This fish lives in the warm waters of the world's oceans at great depths. The largest specimens can reach up to half a meter in length. The pinnate batfish is a predator that lures small fish because of the bulb in its head, which has a special smell. Fish, crustaceans and worms swim to this smell and the pinnate batfish sits in ambush. When the prey is close, the batfish grabs it. Frilled Relict Shark This shark lives at a depth of 1,500 meters and therefore is practically never encountered by people. Only in 2007 such a shark was found in shallow water and died after a couple of hours of transportation. The length of such an individual was 160 centimeters. Scientists have revealed similarities with extinct ancestors of the time of the dinosaurs. Wolfish This fantastic fish belongs to the family Anarchishatidae. The wolfish lives a depth of up to 500 meters in rocky terrain. A special feature of this creature is that it can stretch up to 1.5 meters in length. These predators have strong teeth that help them crush clams, sea urchins and crabs. The wolffish has many names such as devilfish, sea wolf, wolf eel, ocean catfish and sea cat. Giant Isopod This crustacean creature can be found at the bottom of the Indian, Pacific and Atlantic Oceans at depths from 170 to 2000 meters. This giant isopod feeds on carrion such as dead fish, whales and squid. Roundworms, sea cucumbers and sponges can be food for isopods, but they can also attack predators larger than themselves. Giant isopods are the largest crustaceans. Their size is explained by low temperatures when the body cells increase in size and their lifespan increases. 
These creatures grow their entire lives, reaching a length of up to 36 centimeters. The largest isopod that was caught weighed 1.7 kilograms and reached 76 centimeters in length. Micropena microstoma It is a deep-sea fish with a unique anatomical and rather fragile structure. The fish has a soft, transparent head and a barrel-shaped eyes and sensory organs that can extend and rotate. Pacific Hagfish This creature lives in the Pacific Ocean at depths of up to 1 km. In case of danger, the hagfish is capable of secreting huge amounts of mucus. The hagfish are scavengers. They can often be seen on the body of a dead creature. It is thanks to them the sea bottom has not turned into a garbage dump. These sanitarians clean the bottom from the corpses of dead animals. Ocean Sunfish This fish is the heaviest and is listed in the Guinness Book of Records with a weight of 2,235 kg, length of 3.1 meters and height of 4.26 meters. This fish lives at depths of up to 850 meters and is not dangerous to humans despite its huge size. Bathysaurus ferox. This creature lives at depths of 600 to 3,500 meters and is classified as a deep sea lizard fish. It is one of the most dangerous deep sea predators that devours everything in its path. The Bathysaurus ferox reaches 50 to 65 centimeters in length. Even the tongue of this creature has sharp fangs. The king of herrings or the giant oarfish. This fish can be found in the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans. The largest individual was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records. Its length was 11 meters and its weight was 272 kilograms. It is an almost inedible fish. Even animals often refuse to eat its meat. The Viperfish It's one of the most fearsome and ruthless deep-sea predators. It lives at a depth of 2,800 meters. Its teeth resemble fangs that don't even fit in its mouth. This predator swims up to its prey at a great speed and stabs at it. The viperfish can swallow fish larger than themselves thanks to its expanding stomach. It has a luminous bait on the end of its spine, which makes it easy to catch its prey. The Giant Siphonophore this creature consists of a large colony of organisms called zooids. If you lift the siphonophore to the surface, its body will disintegrate because its skeleton is only held together by enormous pressure. That's why it is impossible to identify this creature, because the caught siphonophore looks like drops of gelatin. They reach up to half a meter in length. Uripharynx pelasinoids this fish lives a depth of up to 3,000 meters and is also called the pelican eel. Its main feature is its huge mouth, which exceeds the body size of the fish. This helps the pelican eel swallow prey larger than itself. It reaches a length of about 70 centimeters. Goblin Shark This shark can be seen at depths of up to 200 meters. Because of its specific appearance, this shark is called a goblin shark. The largest individual weighed over 200 kilograms and its body length was 3.8 meters. This shark is practically unstudied by scientists as only 40 of its individuals are known to science so far. Deep Sea Anglerfish This creature looks just like a monster from a sci-fi movie. Science knows over 200 species of sea devils that live at the bottom of the Antarctic and Atlantic Oceans. The deep-sea anglerfish lures its prey with its glowing backbone. Thanks to its large mouth, it can swallow prey twice its size. The females of the deep-sea anglerfish are larger, while the males lose their ability to digest food as they grow. Therefore, it gnaws into the female's body and becomes a sperm's preying parasite attached to the female. Banded Piglet Squid this creature lives at a depth of 100 meters and looks quite cute. They have an almost transparent body and luminous organs called photophores, which are located under their eyes. Melanocetus johnsoni This creature lives at a depth of up to 4,500 meters in all oceans. 
The female of this fish is much larger than the male and grows up to 18 centimeters, while the male is only 3 centimeters. The Melanocetus has a luminous lure that resembles a fishing rod and helps it to hunt. The Tongue-Eating Louse A very frightening and unusual creature is a parasitic isopod. The isopod clings to the tongue of its victim, the load chain is Johnny, and sucks all the blood from its tongue. When the tongue atrophies, the isopod becomes a new tongue and feeds on the food remains of the Lucanus Johnny. This process practically doesn't cause any discomfort to the Lucanus Johnny, and it continues to exist normally. Lionfish It was first spotted on the shores of Florida in the 1990s of the 20th century. These fish are a danger to other species because they eat everything around them. Lionfish have long spines that protect them from predators, although predators for them are the same lionfish which are considered cannibals. They pose a serious danger to humans because their venom can be fatal for people with heart disease or with allergic reactions. Enoplogaster cornuta This monster lives at a depth of up to 5 kilometers, and the fry swim close to the surface of the water. The adults are so different from the fry that scientists used to even consider them different species. The predatory Enoplogaster cornuta grows up to 18 centimeters in length. Giant Squid These creatures live at a depth of more than 2,000 meters and reach a length of up to 10 meters. The maximum weight known to science was 495 kilograms. The average size of such squid is 8 meters. They use their long tentacles to catch their prey. Kiwa hirsuta This crustacean creature lives at a depth of over 2 kilometers. It can be found in the Pacific Ocean. It seems that the crustacean is covered with fur because all the limbs and chests of this creature are covered with bristles. Only one specimen has been caught at a depth of 2,200 meters. Idiacanthus These fish live at a depth of up to 4 kilometers. The length of females is many times greater, reaching up to 40 centimeters, while the males reach a length of up to 7 centimeters. The female Idiacanthus are predators. They can easily cope with larger prey because their mouth and stomach can stretch. The lower jaw can extend forward and drop downward. Males of this species don't eat at all. They exist only for reproduction. Chowliotus These creatures live at depths of up to 4,000 meters. They have an outgrowth with a photophore to lure their prey. They are quite similar to Idiacanthus. Their mouth and stomach can stretch, allowing them to not eat every day. Black Swallower It inhabits subtropical and tropical waters of the oceans. This creature is capable of swallowing its prey whole and much larger than itself thanks to its stretching stomach. It reaches a length of about 15 centimeters. The Giant Amoeba it is a single-celled organism and lives at a depth of over 10 kilometers. This creature reaches up to 10 centimeters in length and contains poisonous substances such as uranium, mercury, and lead. Giant amoebas filter and recycle sludge so that other organisms can exist at the bottom. Blunt-nosed six-gill shark This fish is often called the cow shark because of its large build. It reaches up to 5 meters in length. It descends to depths of up to 2,500 meters and rises to the surface at night in search of prey. It can feed on crabs, rays, seals, and other sharks. Tardigrades These invertebrate creatures are very hardy. They easily adapt to any conditions such as the bottom of the ocean, ice, or hot springs. Tardigrades survive even after exposure to radiation, ultraviolet light, and even in outer space. All of this is possible because tardigrades can go into anabiosis and remove water from their bodies. Their size decreases and their body covers itself with a waxy coating. Vampire Squid This deep-sea dweller feels quite comfortable at a depth of over 3 kilometers. 
This quid has retained a resemblance to its ancestors, who lived over 300 million years ago. Giant Tube Worms These invertebrate creatures live at the bottom of the ocean with high hydrogen sulfide levels. They like low temperatures and complete darkness. Tiburonia granrojo This creature belongs to the family Almeridae. These creatures are characterized by their large size, as large as one meter in length. The jellyfish use its pale red tentacles to catch prey. Stargazer These terrifying-looking creatures are also very dangerous. They have two poisonous spines, with which they strike their prey suddenly emerging from the sand. These fish are electric, so an encounter with them can end very badly. Pelican eel or gulper eel This deep-sea creature is rarely seen by humans. The pelican eel looks quite strange and is capable of swallowing prey much larger than itself. The giant shark or Megamata shark It is extremely rare to see this shark. It was discovered in 1976. The main feature of this fish is a huge mouth, allowing it to easily swallow small fish and plankton. Chimera These fish are also called ghost sharks. They can be found at a depth of 2,500 meters. Now science knows 50 species of chimeras. They have poisonous spines for protection. Chimeras eat mostly echinoderms and clams, other fish, or even their own relatives. As you can see, the deep sea world is very diverse, sometimes even frightening and fantastic. A huge number of creatures, from harmless to the most dangerous, that live at great depths. This underwater world remains poorly explored due to the impossibility of man to go so easily to the great depths. Let's hope that modern technology and the latest developments of scientists will soon make it possible to better explore this amazing deep sea world. Friends, we welcome you to the Other Mind channel. Today, let's talk about river monsters. Do you often think about what monsters may live in rivers and whether it's dangerous to swim in them? In this regard, our rivers are much safer than, for example, in Africa, Australia or America. We've prepared for you 20 of the scariest river dwellers on the planet. Let's go! Flathead Catfish Meet one of the most dangerous river dwellers in North America. The flathead catfish can be up to one and a half meters long and weigh over 100 kilograms. The catfish's diet consists of waterfowl, other fish, and mammals. But there are also cases of attacks on people. For example, up to 10 fishermen per year are killed in North American rivers. Attacking its prey, the flathead catfish tears it to pieces with its powerful jaws. Vandalia serosa or kangaroo. This small fish at first glance does not raise any concerns, but it's only so it appears. You will be shocked to learn that it feeds on blood and urine, penetrating the anus and genital urinary organs. Then the Vandalia serosa begins to devour the flesh. You can't remove this parasite on your own, you'll need surgery. One good thing is that this fish lives far away from us in the Amazon River in Colombia, Brazil, Peru and Ecuador. Piranha the piranha is a relatively small predator, growing up to 30 centimeters in length, but terrifying to people. Piranhas live in Brazil and South America. Having a large number of teeth and being always in search of prey, piranhas pose a tremendous danger to anyone who meets them on the way. Piranhas hunt in large packs. They swallow small fish and start tearing off pieces of meat from larger ones. In a matter of minutes, a pack of piranhas can leave only the bones of their prey. Electric Eel Lacking a powerful jaw and huge teeth, this fish poses an enormous danger to people. It does not need teeth to do this. It will, at lightning speed, generate a powerful discharge of electricity which can cause a person to lose consciousness. 
Do not approach the eel closer than 3 meters, because this is the range of its current. In addition, the electric eel is quite aggressive and often attacks for no reason. You can meet this fish up to 3 meters long and weighing up to 40 kilograms in the Amazon River and other rivers in the northeast of South America. Begarius urali or Gunj catfish. This catfish can be found in the Kali River area between India and Nepal, as well as in the Brahmaputra, Indus, and Ganges river basins. Since ancient times, the bodies of the dead have been dumped into this river. Often bodies do not burn completely, and catfish feed on human remains. These huge predators weigh up to 140 kilograms and often attack people in search of food. Tambaki. It's an amazing fish with teeth that are very similar to human teeth but much sharper. That's why the tambaki easily gnaws fruits and nuts that fall into the river from the trees. It lives in the Amazon River and also eats invertebrates and fish. In the 90s, tambaki attacked two fishermen who died from blood loss. It grows to an average of about 70 to 100 centimeters and weighs about 40 kilograms. The tambaki looks a bit like piranhas, only larger in size. Hydrocinus goliath, or giant tiger fish. This dangerous aquatic dweller can be found in Africa in the Congo River. But it's better not to meet with it, because this fish is quite a dangerous predator and it's like a real tiger while attacking other fish and even people. I don't want anyone to face a 50 kilogram monster that grows up to 180 centimeters in length. To easily cope with prey, the giant tiger fish has 32 sharp teeth. You can learn more about the giant tiger fish in our separate video. A link is in the description. Black Cayman This giant monster with lightning-fast reaction and great strength grows up to 6 meters long. It's better not to get in its way, the caiman would tear anyone to shreds. The black caiman is one of the largest crocodiles and is the largest predator in the Amazon River. The black caiman is an omnivore. Its diet is dominated by fish, vegetation, crustaceans and insects. Adults hunt for the larger prey. The caiman hunts mammals, snakes, waterfowl and fish. Black caimans have repeatedly attacked people. Giant Freshwater Stingray or Short-Tailed River Stingray They live in the rivers of Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Australia and New Guinea. These giants weigh about 500 kg and are up to 2 meters in diameter. This stingray is quite dangerous because it has two sharp spikes on the tail. The large spike helps to hold the victim down. Such a spike looks like a harpoon and it's difficult to pull out because of the large number of serrations on it. The stingray can easily pierce the bottom of a boat with a spike which grows to almost 40 centimeters. A stingray will never attack a person first. For that, you either have to accidentally disturb it or try to catch it. The second spike is smaller, but its purpose is to inject venom that can kill a person. Freshwater stingrays are viviparous, with a female giving birth to a single calf up to 35 centimeters in length. The number of giant freshwater stingrays is decreasing, so it's forbidden to hunt them. After the photo shoot and measurements, the stingrays are returned to the river. Anaconda for people who are afraid of snakes, the anaconda will be a real challenge. This monster reaches a length of up to 5 to 6 meters and weighs about 50 to 70 kilograms. If the anaconda begins to coil itself around its victim, it can no longer escape. It lives in the Amazon River and likes to rest in shallow water. Anaconda is the largest snake on the planet and is not poisonous. Giant Otter Inhabiting the Amazon rivers, otters are quite large, up to 2 meters in length. An individual otter on its own is not so dangerous, but when they gather in packs, these animals can kill even large caimans and anacondas. Arapaima It's a giant monster with teeth even on its tongue. Even piranhas are no threat to them because they have armored scales. Arapaima grows up to 3 meters and weighs about 90 kilograms. It feeds on fish and waterfowl. There have been recorded cases of this giant attacking humans as well. Bull sharks 
These sharks usually live in the ocean, but they're also excellent in rivers. It's not uncommon for them to swim very far down the Amazon, where they look for their prey. They grow up to 3 meters and the strength of their bite reaches 600 kilograms. It's better never to encounter this predator, because afterward the chances of survival are close to zero. Hydraulicus scamberoides It's a true vampire among river dwellers. This fish has huge fangs up to 15 centimeters, which do not give the victim a chance. It lives in the Amazon, grows up to 117 centimeters and weighs about 18 kilograms. It feeds on piranhas and other fish. This fish is very often the object of sport fishing due to its powerful resistance when trying to pull it out of the river. The locals also go fishing for the Hydraulicus scomboroidus, considering its meat very delicious. Protopterus They live in the water bodies of Africa and belong to the lungfish species. When a body of water dries up, the Protopterus burrows into the ground and hibernates. It usually happens every year, and such hibernation lasts several months. But the main feature of Protopterus is that they can stay in such a state for up to four years. The largest of the Protopterus species is the marbled longfish. It reaches up to 2 meters in length and weighs about 17 kilograms. They are nocturnal, can move with the help of fins on the bottom, and can swim in the water like eels. They feed on crabs, crayfish, mollusks, and fish. The local population often catches Protopterus and eat them. Nile perch This perch is striking in its size. The largest specimens grow up to 2 meters in length and weigh up to 200 kilograms. The ancient Egyptians called this fish the Princess of the Nile. They can live in any freshwater body of water, preferring warm waters. The Nile perch is a true predator. It's not uncommon for this monster to choose its prey among its own species. It's the largest predatory fish of Lake Victoria. This giant has been artificially introduced into other bodies of water, which has had a negative impact. The perch is a real glutton, so the number of local fish species has significantly decreased. A very unusual fact is that the Nile perch hatches its young in its mouth, protecting its next generation. Nile Crocodile This crocodile inhabits the territory of the African continent. It's considered one of the deadliest creatures on the planet. Males can grow up to 5 meters, even one such monster is very dangerous. When they hunt in a pack, the victim has no chance of survival. They can attack even rhinos and hippos. Quite often, people become victims of this crocodile. Every year, from several hundred to a couple of thousand people die from its teeth. Northern Snakehead These fish are quite rare in the West, but there was a case when a fisherman found the northern snakehead in a pond in the United States. Many scientists believe that snakeheads can take root in North America, thereby seriously damaging the local ecosystem. These predatory fish grow up to a meter in length and are very voracious. Their diet consists of frogs, fish, and invertebrates. Northern snakeheads can live outside of the water for up to four days. Sawfish The small-toothed sawfish lives in freshwater. Sometimes it even swims into lakes. It chooses muddy and shallow water, spending most of its time on the bottom. It is similar to saw rays, not sharks, as it might seem at first glance. They are distinguished by the long, flat rostrum, laterally dotted with tooth-like outgrowths. It doesn't attack people on purpose, but due to poor eyesight, this fish can accidentally inflict quite dangerous saw blows. Today, these fish are protected because of the decline in their numbers. Leech this little parasite feeds on blood and is usually not very dangerous. On average, a leech feeds for half an hour and then detaches itself. However, bleeding after such a sting can last for several days, especially if you have several leeches hooked on you. A leech can transmit infections and parasites to humans because it has no immune system. In Africa, even the hepatitis B virus and HIV have been found in wild leeches. Some of the leeches can enter the nose, eyes, ears, bladder, and even the stomach. That was our top 20 scariest river dwellers. Share in the comments which animal surprised you the most. Give us a like if the video was useful and subscribe to the channel. We still have a lot of interesting things. 
See you next time. This amazing creature resembles a prehistoric bird. It can be safely called the strangest bird in the world, which is extremely poorly studied. It is one of the largest birds, which is a close relative of storks, pelicans, and marabou. It's a bird whose population is disappearing at a breakneck pace. Yeah, that's right, it's a shoe-billed stork. The shoe-billed stork, Balinaceps rex, is a large, broad-winged bird that lives in the swamps and wetlands of Central and East Africa. This giant bird has a large body, huge wings, and a beak similar to a shoe. It is believed that this prehistoric bird is associated with non-extinct dinosaurs. These birds have dark gray, blue-gray, or gray plumage with a white belly. Their piercing eyes are yellow or white-gray. They have huge wings which can reach a wingspan of 2.4 meters. The bird loves papaya swamps and is usually found in spill areas where water slowly flows to the lake. The area is home to many fish, which are the main source of food for storks. The shoe-billed storks lead a daytime lifestyle, although they sometimes hunt at night if the moonlight is bright enough. In addition to fish, they also hunt water snakes, frogs, varanas, and young turtles. They have even been known to eat baby crocodiles. The shoebill reaches sexual maturity at the age of three to four years. They are monogamous birds sharing parental responsibilities. The female lays two or three eggs that incubate for 30 days. Both parents will turn the eggs over frequently with their feet. The chicks of this bird are covered with thick and silvery gray down and already have a wide mouth. However, the large beak, for which these birds are known, does not begin to show until they are a month old. When they are born, the parents take turns feeding their chicks smashed food. At one month of age, the parents begin to leave prey in the nest for the young birds to swallow. Plumage occurs at 95 days, and by 125 days, the chicks are independent. People have known about the shoebill for a very long time. They were first described in writing as early as ancient Egypt, so it is surprising that we know relative what we really do know demonstrates some surprising biological concepts. It is reported that the Arabs call the bird Abu Markab, or father of the shoe. So, is there anything cool other than the fact that its giant looks like a shoe and can decapitate crocodiles? Sure, they make cool machine gun noises. Shoe-billed storks are silent most of the time, but rumble around the nest or greet another bird. This loud and frightening sound is the last sound many poor monitor lizards ever hear. The shape of a bird's beak is designed for eating certain types of food and provides a great clue as to what the main source of food is. The huge beaks serve as a device for catching and holding the large slippery fish they hunt. Its large beak ranges from 20 to 24 centimeters long and 10 to 12 centimeters wide. It also has a razor-sharp, curved hook on the end that pierces its prey like a spear. The size of the beak helps these birds strike their prey with a unique technique known as collapse. The birds stand motionless in the water looking for food. Upon spotting prey, the birds dash or fall on their prey spreading their wings. The bird then dies, beak goes first, and ambushes the prey. During the flight, the wings are kept flat, and like pelicans and storks, the shoebill flies with the neck retracted. The speed of its sweeps is about 150 sweeps per minute, therefore it is considered one of the slowest birds, except for the larger stork species. Long flights of the shoebill are rare and only a few flights exceeding the minimum feeding distance of 20 meters have been recorded. The shoe-billed storks, like pelicans and other storks, practice urohydrosis to keep cool. Urohydrosis is a method of cooling similar to sweating that allows the bird to cool down. They also defecate on their feet to lower their body temperature. The liquid waste that these birds excrete from the cloaca is a mixture of feces and urine. 
The waste coats the bird's feet, and as it evaporates, cools their skin, just as evaporating sweat cools our skin. Unlike sweat, this method of cooling also involves preventive care. The evaporating liquid leaves behind a white powdery substance that can reflect sunlight and prevent heating of the feet in the first place. The main goal of an animal is to survive and pass on its genes, and there are several examples of how animals do this in nature. Birds can use different mechanisms, from concentrating energy on a small clutch of eggs to producing a large brood to increase the probability of survival. Some birds are monogamous and work as a team to raise their chicks, while others are polygamous or promiscuous and prefer to mate with as many partners as possible. Once a fascinating but gloomy example of animal survival is siblicide. Siblicide is when one offspring kills his brother or sister. There are several examples of birds that practice this behavior, including herons, egrets, pelicans, boobies, and shoe-billed storks. Shoe-billed stork eggs hatch asynchronously. The first chick that hatches has no siblings to fight with for overeating, so it eats well and develops quickly. When the second chick hatches, the parents make no effort to distribute food evenly, so it competes with its older, well-developed sibling. The elder chick will bully and beat its brother or sister, and often the youngest chick will die from wounds or starvation. By focusing on the strongest chick, the parents increase the chances that at least one of their offspring will reach maturity and pass on their genes. In terms of survival, it is better to have one healthy chick than several weak chicks who are unlikely to survive. Why is this so? Why do these birds choose to lay more than one egg when only one chick survives? The second, and sometimes the third egg, is more like an insurance policy. If the first egg is infertile or lost because of predators, the adults can still produce offspring. If there is planning to eat, aggression between chicks is limited and it is more likely that all the chicks will fledge. They are undoubtedly amazing birds, but even their size can protect these birds from extinction. What can we do so that our grandchildren can also admire these giants not only from a book? Shoe-billed storks are endemic to Africa and only inhabit remote wetlands. BirdLife International and the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, classify the birds as vulnerable to extinction. They survive in only a few countries such as South Sudan, which has the largest population of the continent with about 5,000 birds, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. Besides the threat posed by poachers, fires and human encroachment also endanger the species. Shoe-billed storks are shy birds that require large areas of undisturbed habitat to breed. When humans get too close, frightened birds abandon their nests, leaving eggs and chicks vulnerable to water lizards, snakes, and eagles. All of these threats have damaged the wild population of this species. The 2016 IUCN population estimate showed that 3,300 to 5,300 adults remain in the wild compared to 5,000 to 8,000 adults in 2008. Fishing comes to their rescue. During the breeding season, from September to December, a close-knit team of 12 fishermen watch over their nests, protecting their eggs and chicks. Besides being fishermen, they also work as guards for African Parks, a non-profit conservation organization. In 2012, the partners established the Shoe Bill Guard program. Their vigilance is paying off. Since 2012, when the program began, 25 chicks have successfully fledged from 21 protected nests. Six chicks stolen from nests have also been rescued from captivity and returned to the wild. The success prompted African Parks to expand the program in 2012. Nine men were hired as guards. The locals do not only protect shoebills, they are an important part of the conservation work carried out in Bangweyulu. Six chiefdoms, numbering about 50,000 people, own land here in joint holdings. In 2008, after decades of poaching and over-agriculture that had destroyed much of the wildlife and depleted the land, it was the chiefs, along with the Zambian government, 
who offered the African parks to take over the management of Banguiulu. Friends, hello everyone! Today, let's digress from serious and global topics, from world problems and disasters, and talk about the strangest and most unusual birds that inhabit our globe. It's amazing how many different creatures there are in the world. Some of those animals are pretty common and familiar to us, but others are simply striking for their uniqueness and dissimilarity to others. Here are the top 20 strangest birds on the planet. Let's go! Abyssinian Ground Hornbill This bird shows its personality with all its appearance. The Abyssinian Ground Hornbill belongs to Bucorvidae family and is distinguished by its very unusual beak. The Abyssinian Ground Hornbill lives in Africa. Also, there is a population in the United States and Florida. It's a rather large bird of prey, about 1 meter in size, with black feathers and a black beak. It feeds on small mammals, small lizards, insects, carrion, fruit, and nuts. In zoos and nature reserves, they live up to 40 years. Southern Cassowary Cassowaries live in New Guinea and Australia. These amazing birds are distinguished not only by their unusual appearance, but also by the fact that they can't fly. Another striking thing is their impressive size. An adult specimen grows up to 170 centimeters. These birds are listed in the International Red Book. There are about 2.5 thousand pairs in the world, but every year the number of cassowaries decreases. It happens due to the reduction of their habitat, plus because of poaching and human proximity. The unusual appearance of the cassowary is due to the helmet on its head. There is a version that helmet helps to get through the thicket. Another version, more plausible, is that the helmet is an indicator of the bird's status and is of great importance in social behavior. Cassowaries can reach speeds of up to 50 km per hour thanks to their powerful legs and can jump over distances of more than 1.5 meters. These birds are also excellent swimmers and can easily swim across a wide river. These birds feed on fruit, mushrooms, insects, small animals, and even carrion. Bearded Vulture This unusual bird with a distinctive beard lives in Asia, Africa, and Southern Europe. Large specimens have a wingspan of 3 meters. The beautiful color of its feathers and the uniqueness of the species made the bearded vulture a favorite prey for poachers. As a result, the number of these birds are quite small. Bearded vultures create a pair for life. The female lays two eggs but destroys one. They feed mainly on carrion. Hoadzin An astonishing bird resembling a dinosaur is also called a skunk bird because of its unpleasant smell. Hoadzins live in South America. They are striking in their appearance and similarity to pterodactyls. They live in thickets and on trees near rivers. Hoadzins can fly but make little use of this skill. Greater Sage Grouse These birds live in the grasslands of North America. Their diet consists of leaves and grasses, and sometimes small invertebrates. The grouse is far from being the largest bird, growing up to 75 centimeters in length and weighing about 4 kilograms. A distinctive feature of males are large air sacs on their chest. Males use them to make loud noises that attract females during the mating season. Lone Wattled Umbrella Bird It's found in western Colombia and Ecuador. Males of this species grow up to half a meter in length and have a distinctive feature in the form of an unusual growth on the chest, which is covered with feathers. This growth is also called wattle, and it's pretty long, reaching up to 35 centimeters. Females are half the size of males and have a resemblance to crows. Males have an overhanging crest on the head, and the plumage is black. During courtship, the male inflates an unusual wattle on his chest to attract the female's attention. Blue-footed booby This bird surely knows how to be the center of attention. Its unusual blue legs deserve special attention. The booby lives in the Galapagos Islands and the Pacific Coast. The color of the male's legs plays a tremendous role during mating. The brighter the male's legs, the more chances the female will choose him. 
Blue-footed boobies feed on fish, which they're very successful at hunting. They can dive for their prey to a depth of up to 25 meters. Magnificent Frigate Bird These birds live off the coasts of the Atlantic, Indian and Pacific Oceans. Their body length average is about 1 meter. Frigates get their name after a warship because of their bullying habits. They often chase other birds to take away their prey. Young frigate birds often peck eggs and chicks. A characteristic feature of male frigate birds is their large scarlet red chest sack. During the courtship period, males make loud noises and inflate their sacks, becoming like balloons. Shoebill a fascinating and extraordinary bird with a striking resemblance to dinosaurs lives in Africa on the banks of the Nile. We have a separate video about the shoebill on our channel. Look for the link in the description. Tufted Puffin The seabird belongs to the Fredericula genus. Its appearance is particularly striking. It has an unusually large beak of bright color, resembling an axe, long gray eyebrows, bright legs and black feathers. They are excellent hunters, capable of bringing more than a dozen small fish to their chick at a time. The female lays one egg. Great Indian Hornbill – Concave Cast Hornbill the concave cast hornbill lives in the tropical forest of Asia. It feeds mainly on the fruit of the fig tree. These birds are quite large, up to 1.5 meters. They are easily recognized by their distinctive large beak and horn on their heads. There is an interesting fact. The female lays white eggs, which over time become brown. During the hatching period, the female completely changes the plumage on her tail and wings in one week. Marabou Stork this African bird can be found near the Sahara Desert. Its appearance is very peculiar and rather unpleasant as it has long legs, a huge beak, black feathers and white belly, bald head with strange spots on it. The marabou stork feeds on carrion, rodents, insects, reptiles and chicks of other birds. Victoria Crowned Pigeon these beautiful birds are dwellers in New Guinea. The pigeons' heads are adorned with a splendid crown of feathers. The birds reach a size of up to about 70 to 80 centimeters. The Victoria crowned pigeon feeds on seeds and fallen fruits from trees. They live for about 20 years. Spectacled Eider Even in the duck family, there are some fascinating individuals. The spectacled eider lives off the coast of the Arctic Ocean. The distinctive features of these birds are their unusual fur beak and the coloring near the eyes as if the bird were wearing glasses. Females are brown, males are white-gray, with unusual yellow-green feathers on the head. The bird's diet consists of mollusks, insects, seeds, grass and berries. Bird of Paradise Amazing birds are native to New Guinea. They are called the most beautiful and extraordinary birds on Earth. The males of different species of birds of paradise are dressed in colorful costumes with amazing details like ribbons, crests, antennae, lawn plums, unusual skirts and bright colors. A total of 45 species of these birds are known. Harpy Eagle This bird is a member of the hawk family. The predatory harpy eagle lives in South and Central America in tropical forests. Harpy eagles have powerful legs with long claws that can hold a lot of weight. Its wingspan is up to 2 meters and it reaches 110 centimeters in length. They feed on small and medium-sized mammals, birds and reptiles. The number of these birds are decreasing due to the destruction of forests and poaching. The population is not increasing also because the female lays one egg every three years. King Vulture the king vulture is distinguished from other members of its family by its bright plumage. It's found in South America. These colorful birds are quite large. It reaches a length of up to 85 centimeters and weighs up to 4.5 kg. The wingspan of the king vulture is impressive, reaching up to 2 meters. Bee Hummingbird This bird weighs less than an ostrich feather. The average weight is just 2 grams. The bee hummingbird is about 5.5 to 6 centimeters long. Its heart beats up to 500 beats per minute. This tiny bird lives in the forests of Cuba and is vulnerable due to the destruction of its habitat. The bee hummingbird feeds on nectar by hovering in front of a flower and making 90 wing strokes per second. 
Andean condor. It's an astonishing bird that flies perfectly. That's the largest and heaviest flying bird in the world. The Indians believe that the Andean condor held the sun on its enormous wings. It had a wingspan of 3.25 meters and a body length of about 1.5 meters. It lives in the mountains of South America. The Andean condor feeds on carrion, eggs and chicks. These birds are monogamous, they mate for life. There are about 10,000 individuals left in the wild, and the bird is listed as an endangered species in the United States. Black-thighed falconet This mini predator weighs only 35 grams and grows up to 15 centimeters. It's found in the southern and eastern regions of Asia. The black-thighed falconet is listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the smallest bird of prey. It feeds on insects and lives in forests near open plains up to 1.5 kilometers elevation. That was our top 20 strangest and most unusual birds. Which bird surprised you the most? Write in the comments. Please give us a like and subscribe to the channel to learn many more interesting things. See you on the Other Mind channel. Friends, hello everyone! Today we'll talk about the strangest and most unusual animals on our planet. I think some of them you have never heard of before. Their appearance and features will actually surprise everyone. Meet the top 20 most bizarre animals. Snub-nosed monkey This cute monkey looks like she was preparing for a photo shoot at the end of the last century. Its bright lips and green shadows are impossible not to notice. These cute little animals live high in the mountains of Asia to hide their unearthly beauty. People who discovered them said that these monkeys don't look like beauties from the covers of magazines, but rather like elves or other fairy tale characters. Monkeys spend a lot of time in trees. They usually live in a very large groups of up to 600 individuals. Snub-nosed monkeys feed on leaves, needles, fruits and bamboo shoots. Females always give birth to one baby each. Chinese water deer At first glance, this deer is not different from other deer species. But when you get closer, you can't help but notice its unusual fangs. Don't be afraid, this deer is not a vampire and it doesn't drink blood. Such frightening fangs are necessary for the animal to protect its territory. This animal is also called the marsh mosk deer. The deer doesn't have horns. The water deer lives in Korea and eastern China. It has recently been discovered in Russia and has become a new species of mammal. This deer species has been protected since it occurs in a relatively small area. Eye Eye A wondrous animal is also called the Dobentonia madagascariensis. This animal has a long tail and thin fingers. The middle finger on the forelimb is especially long. It helps the animal to get larvae and insects from under the bark of trees. Initially, the eye eye was categorized as a rodent, but later scientists did find out that it's a lemur that deviates from the general group. In the wild, the average lifespan of this animal hasn't yet been calculated. In zoos, the eye eye live up to 26 years, which is quite a lot for such an animal. Star-nosed mole This strange animal is a relative of the mole. It has a very unusual star-shaped snout. Since these animals are practically blind, star-shaped tentacles help the star-nosed mole navigate. They act as taste buds and help look for insects, larvae, worms and other food. The star-nosed mole lives in North America. Their main enemies are large birds of prey, martens and skunks. Lowland Streak Tenrec is that really a Pokémon, you ask? No, this astonishing creature lives in Madagascar and looks a bit like a bright black and yellow porcupine. These small animals grow only about 15 centimeters in length and weigh no more than 300 grams. A feature of the lowland streak tenrec is their ability to vibrate, so they communicate and find prey using echolocation. The animals feed mainly on earthworms found under leaves and in the roots of trees. Angora rabbit These cute little furballs came originally from Turkey. These furry rabbits were favorites among the royal family in France in the 18th century. These rabbits live an average of up to 10 years. 
They are bred as pets and for their soft wool. In China, up to 8,000 tons of angora wool are produced each year. Taking care of such a rabbit is not that easy. It has to be brushed at least twice a week to keep the wool from getting tangled. Spectral Tarsier An unusual animal with huge eyes and long fingers on its paws resembles an alien. It's capable of astonishing tricks when it hunts for flying birds. These animals live in Indonesia in bamboo groves, in forests, and even in gardens in the city. They have a nocturnal lifestyle and feed on small vertebrates and insects. These animals will surprise you even more when they turn their heads 180 degrees as their enormous eyes can turn around. Today, the species is considered vulnerable because its habitat has decreased almost threefold in just 20 years. Kangaroo Rat this cute little animal lives in the deserts of North America. Its hind legs resemble those of gerbos and kangaroos, that's why it's called a kangaroo rat. These animals are excellent jumpers, using their tails for balance. They lead a nocturnal lifestyle. Their burrows are half a meter underground, which allows them to maintain a temperature of 22 degrees all the time. There are over 20 species of kangaroo rats around the world. Camondor these unusual dogs are also called Hungarian sheepdogs. They do an excellent job as shepherds because they look very much like sheep. Their long blonde coats resemble dreadlocks. Commodores have very light bones and weigh only 50 to 60 kilograms. Hungarians have a legend that this animal came from the marriage of a sheep with a wolf. They are very strong dogs that need constant physical activity. They live very well both on the farm and in the city. They adapt very quickly to new environments and are loyal to their owners. Gharial This unusual crocodile inhabits the territory of northern India. It spends almost all its time in the water, and at first glance it's no different from its other relatives. It crawls out on the shore only to lay its eggs and get warm in the sun. The main peculiarity of the gharial is a large outgrowth at the end of the male's nose. It's necessary for the unusual gargling sound during mating. The coloration of this crocodile is similar to other members of these species, but sometimes there are almost white individuals. It's one of the largest crocodiles in the world. The gharial feeds on fish, so they have a relatively narrow jaw shape. But the gharial has more teeth than other crocodiles, about a hundred. The gharial is listed in the Red Book and is considered one of the rarest species of crocodiles. In India and Nepal, the gharial is a sacred animal. Hispaniolan Selenodon This animal lives only in Haiti. On average, this Selenodon lives up to 11 years. The appearance of this animal is very unusual because of its long, squiggly nose. The Hispaniolan Selenodon can secrete toxic saliva to protect itself. The Lawn Air Gerboa This cute and cuddly animal is still poorly studied. Its lawn airs, tail and hind legs are impressive. These animals are nocturnal. They inhabit the territory of Mongolia and northern China, mainly in deserts and semi-deserts. They are referred to as rodents and feed on insects and plants. Most species of gerboas hibernate. But when and for how long the lawn air gerboa hibernates is still unknown. Saiga antelope The main feature of this unusual antelope is its nose protruding over its mouth. Today, saigas are on the verge of extinction. They inhabit the territory of Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, and Mongolia. They can also be found in Ascanian Nova Natural Biosphere Reserve in Ukraine. Saigas migrate easily and cover long distances. Also, they can swim across rivers. They can reach speeds of up to 80 km per hour. The main enemies of saigas, apart from poachers, are steppe wolves. Slender Loris an unusual animal with large eyes that lives in Sri Lanka and South India. They usually live in tropical forests. Their body length is up to 25 centimeters and they weigh only about 300 grams. The slender loris feeds on insects and leads a nocturnal lifestyle. Today, the lorises are an endangered species. The natives killed these animals because of their supposedly magical properties. Poachers are another enemy of the lorises. Sphinx this absolutely magical and ethereal breed of cat is characterized by a complete absence of fur. These cats are great for people who are allergic to cat fur. 
These animals are very communicative and curious. They can live in the house or apartment all the time because the outdoors can easily cause them to get hypothermia or burns. Honduran White Bat these cute little white bats live in Honduras. They live in the foliage and weigh only about 7 grams. Their ears and nose are yellow and unusually shaped. Honduran white bats eat mostly fruit and ficus. They are threatened with extinction. Glass frog. These transparent frogs live in South America. It is easy to study the anatomy of frogs from them. The bodies of these amphibians are translucent. These tiny frogs only grow up to 3 cm in length. They live near water in rainforests. Glass frogs are active at night and usually sleep in the foliage during the day. Platypus These unusual animals have a bill like a duck. Platypuses live in Australia. These animals are active at night. Their diet consists of insect larvae and mollusks. Platypuses are strange-looking animals. They have a long tail, like beavers, sharp legs, and an unusual bill-like nose, but not as tough as birds. The male platypus has venomous spurs. Platypus venom can kill a small animal. In the 20th century, hunting platypuses was prohibited. There are many nature reserves in Australia where these animals live well and feel safe. Narwhal this sea unicorn is a very unusual animal. Its tusk grows up to 2 or 3 meters in length and is twisted into a helix. It is very flexible and strong. Males grow up to 4.5 meters in length and weigh about 2 to 3 tons. The weight of females is much less, about 900 kilograms. Narwhals live in the Arctic Ocean. They tolerate captivity very poorly and are listed in the Red Book. Echidna Echidnas live in New Guinea and Australia. They are very similar to porcupines, although they belong to the same group as platypuses. Unlike platypuses, echidnas are not poisonous. These animals have small toothless mouths. Echidnas feed mainly on ants. They catch insects with their sticky tongue. An echidna lays an egg in its pouch, then feeds its baby with milk through its pores because the echidna, like the platypus, has no nipples. These are amazing animals that lay eggs and at the same time feed milk to their cubs. Today, the echidnas are on the verge of extinction due to the human-introduced predators in their habitat. The body of an echidna is covered with hair and spines. They grow up to 30 centimeters. As a rule, they live alone, except for the mating season. They're excellent swimmers and often change their homes as they do not have a permanent one. That was our surprising top 20 most bizarre animals. Which animal surprised you the most? Maybe you would add other amazing animals to our list. Please write in the comments and subscribe to the channel. Until next time! The dog is a friend of a man. They have lived in our neighborhood for a long time. The dog is not just a pet. They help the police, help border guards. People also take dogs with them hunting. These animals delight us and bring us positive emotions every day. That's why not everyone realizes some dogs can be very dangerous to others. This topic always leads to considerable controversy among dog breeders because, as a rule, it all depends on the upbringing of the animal. Any breed can be raised as the sweetest creature or you can turn it into an aggressive monster. Not all dog breeds were bred to touch and delight their owners. Some breeds are genetically engineered to be aggressive and insubordinate. However, this doesn't mean that such a breed shouldn't be bred just that their owners should pay more attention to the upbringing and training of such animals. So, the most dangerous dogs are… Rottweiler Rottweilers are quite powerful dogs, distinguished by their large size. These animals are very loyal. Rottweilers are very fond of children and make great dogs for families. Except for strangers they don't like and show aggression to them. Often, the Rottweiler doesn't understand whether they are joking with it or really threatening it, so you need to be on guard all the time with these animals. Without proper upbringing and a competent owner, the Rottweiler can pose a danger to outsiders. American Pit Bull Terrier 
This dog is considered one of the most dangerous dogs for a reason. The Pitbull was bred to corral cattle and later Pitbulls were used for dog fighting. The Pitbull Terrier is characterized by fearlessness and aggression. For a long time, the breeders of this breed have been strenuously supporting these qualities of the animal. Therefore, if you decide to get a Pitbull, you should pay a lot of attention to the upbringing of the dog and teach it to get along with other animals. German Boxer The Mastiff and Bulldog breeds were used to breed the Boxer. The German Boxer is characterized by stubbornness, quite inquisitive and fearless. It is easy to train and it obeys its master. Without training and upbringing, this animal will strive to dominate a man. As a rule, boxers are not aggressive at all. If a boxer decides to attack, however, it will hold its victim as long as the victim can resist. Therefore, its death grip is quite dangerous. Training of this dog should be started as early as when it's a puppy, so that the animal knows exactly who the master is. Doberman the Doberman belongs to the service breeds. It was bred at the end of the 19th century in Germany. The Doberman is distinguished by its intelligence and especially needs the attention of a loving owner. These dogs are very active, always loyal to people, and are choleric by temperament. They can show spontaneous aggression. That's why if the Doberman feels even the slightest threat, it immediately becomes aggressive, attacking the victim, it bites in different places. However, if you pay proper attention to training the Doberman, you will get a great friend and protector for the entire family. Alaskan Malamute These large dogs are a bit like wolves in appearance. The Malamute is quite a friendly and cheerful dog, but has some hidden flaws. These are precisely the kind of dogs that continuously need the attention and care of their owner. During training, there may be difficulties because of the stubbornness and resentfulness of the Malamute. If the owner can earn respect and prove his intellectual superiority, then you will get a loyal friend who will unquestioningly obey your commands. The Malamute is quite dangerous because it can attack a person even from boredom and not just from the lack of proper upbringing. Wolf Dog This breed was created by crossing a wolf and a German Shepherd. This unusual breed closely resembles a wolf but is smaller in size. The wolf dog is a dog with a difficult temperament. It gets along badly with other animals, which is why you shouldn't get another pet. The wolf dog has an excellent hunting instinct. It needs space and it simply can't live in an ordinary apartment. Because of the lack of suitable conditions, this breed becomes inadequate and can become quite aggressive towards others. German Shepherd This breed is very intelligent and not aggressive at all. These dogs are very loyal to their owner. They will obey any of his commands. Therefore, a shepherd trained to attack can become a dangerous weapon. However, with a competent upbringing, a German shepherd will become the favorite of the entire family and a loyal friend for many years. Bull Mastiff The Bull Mastiff was bred in the early 19th century by crossbreeding a Mastiff and a Bulldog. This breed was originally intended to help rangers guard the woods. The Bull Mastiff is considered one of the best watchdog breeds, but you shouldn't keep the Bull Mastiff on a chain. It loves freedom. This loyal animal is fearless and will protect its owner, even risking its life. Bull Mastiffs are cheerful and love children. However, you shouldn't leave your child alone with this animal because the dog, while playing, may accidentally knock your child down. Bull Mastiff has a serious garden instinct, so it can perceive very noisy and active games of children as a threat and rush to defense. This animal is very aggressive to other dogs and cats, especially to those who intrude on its territory. Presa Canario This breed was initially intended for the protection of cattle. The Presa Canario is distinguished by its impressive size, fearlessness and loyalty. This dog will always remain wary of strangers. Particular attention should be paid to the upbringing of the animal as early as when it's a puppy. The Presa Canario has great strength and power, which should always be controlled. You shouldn't stop training and drills, because the Presa Canario can get out of control. This giant can easily knock an adult down and cause serious harm, which is why small children shouldn't be left unsupervised around this dog.
Even while playing, the Presa Canario can accidentally injure a child. American Bulldog The American Bulldog is a dog defender. It was bred to help farmers corral their cattle. For the family where the Bulldog grew up, it will be a sweet and kind friend, but will always be distrustful of strangers and just passers-by. Just like with other large dogs, you shouldn't leave the Bulldog with young children. The American Bulldog is characterized by increased aggression towards cats and other dogs. Therefore, you shouldn't go out for a walk with a Bulldog without a leash and a muzzle. Tosa Inu This fighting dog breed was bred in Japan in the 19th century. Tosa Inu was the result of crossbreeding Mastiff, Bulldog and Terrier. It's quite an aggressive dog characterized by determination and stubbornness. Fighting with the enemy, he will fight to the last. However, as in the case with other animals, with the right upbringing and training, you can get a loyal and sweet friend. Nevertheless, the animal has innate aggression and doesn't get along with others at all. You shouldn't have this breed for families with children. When you are walking this dog, don't forget the leash and muzzle. Cani Corso This breed is a guard dog. It is distinguished by its large size and the considerable weight of up to 60 kilograms. The Cani Corso is a member of the Mastiff group and is considered the most obedient and intelligent of its kind. This breed learns quickly and easily obeys commands. They are inquisitive and quite calm. Cani Corso can easily be taken hunting or used for police work. Representatives of this breed get along well with children, but increased activity of a child can be mistaken for aggression. If you are thinking about getting this breed, you should know that the Cane Corso absolutely don't get along with other animals. American Band Dog The American Band Dog has been bred from crossbreeding different types of Mastiffs. It's a reliable and loyal friend, guardian and protector. If you take care of its correct and competent upbringing, you will get a friendly and affectionate dog who gets along well even with children. If the American Band Dog grew up with another dog or a cat, then it will perceive these animals as family members, but it will be very aggressive and unfriendly to other animals and strangers. That's why it is necessary to take a muzzle and a leash for a walk with the American Band Dog. Dogo Argentino this breed was originally bred in Argentina to hunt pumas and other large animals. This is quite a hard breed that likes to dominate. Therefore, this animal will obey only a strong and intelligent owner whom it will respect. Dogo Argentino quickly becomes attached to all family members and becomes a loyal friend. Dogo Argentino is wary and even aggressive towards strangers and thanks to its hunting instinct will chase all escaping animals. Boar Bull The Boar Bull belongs to the service breeds. It was bred in South Africa, but in some countries it is banned breed that can't be bred. Only a competent handler should be the owner of the Boar Bull, as these animals can be kept without proper training and constant control. This breed can get along with cats and is great with children with whom it grew up. However, it is aggressive toward other dogs and can even kill an animal. It is a quite large dog, which can weigh up to 90 kilograms. Bully Kuta This breed was bred in Pakistan and is secondarily called the Pakistani Mastiff. Bully Kuta is a little amenable to training and has quite a hard character. Only an experienced, strong-willed owner should breed such an animal, then the dog will be a loyal friend and protector. These animals do not get along with other animals and can even kill a rival. This breed is not suitable as a pet in a family with children. Goldong This breed is very popular in Pakistan and India. The dog is of medium size and has a strong-built body. These animals are distinguished by loyalty, intelligence, and very attached to their family and will protect the owner at all costs. Despite its positive qualities, the Goldong is very aggressive to others and likes to dominate. It is not worth having this dog in a family with children, but it is an excellent choice for guarding its owner and territory. Caucasian Shepherd Dog The Caucasian Shepherd is considered one of the largest breeds of dog. This dog needs constant control and training from early on as a puppy. This is a very good-natured and calm dog, but at the slightest threat, it rushes to defend its owner and territory. The Caucasian Shepherd dog will be a devoted friend and the best protector of all family members. 
It will be an affectionate and kind dog, but only with the right training. English Mastiff Originally, this aggressive dog was used to protect property and guard it. Today, representatives of this breed are kind and affectionate dogs who love children. They don't pose any serious danger to people. However, you shouldn't leave small children alone to play with the animal to avoid unwanted injuries. Rhodesian Ridgeback This is a hunting breed that originated in Zimbabwe. They are intelligent, active animals that quickly become attached to the entire family and children. They are very agile and energetic. When going out for a walk, don't leave the animal without attention, because with a strong hunter instinct, this animal can pose a threat to others. Moscow Watchdog This breed was bred by crossing the Caucasian Shepherd, Saint Bernard and Russian Hound. The Moscow Watchdog has a hard character and is difficult to obey. Nevertheless, with a strong owner, the dog will gladly obey commands. This breed is quite friendly and gets along well with all family members and children. Bull Terrier If you want to get a dog, you shouldn't start with a Bull Terrier. This animal has a hard character and it's not an easy dog to train at all. The Bull Terrier was originally bred as a fighting breed. That's why it is quite an aggressive animal. Only with proper upbringing and the right approach, you can get a loyal and obedient pet. For a family with a child, you should still choose another breed, more affectionate, calm and loving children. The dog has a strong pursuit instinct, so when walking, you should take care of the safety of others, put on a muzzle for a bull terrier. As you can see, any dog without proper upbringing and competent training is capable of becoming a non-controllable danger. Any of even the most aggressive animals can be made a loyal friend and a family member, just as the most harmless animal can turn into an evil monster. Are you afraid of dogs? Insects. Many people get goosebumps all over their bodies just from this word alone. This is not surprising at all because there are so many dangerous insects around the world. In total, there are about 1 million species of insects on Earth. Do you suffer from arachnophobia? Believe me, spiders are not the worst thing you might encounter in nature. We present you with a list of the most dangerous insects on the planet. The top of the rating of the most dangerous insects opens, of course, the mosquito. Every year, more than 2 million people die because of this creature. Most often, mosquitoes are carriers of malaria. It affects the brain, liver, lungs and cardiovascular system. But they can also infect people with West Nile fever, encephalitis, dengue virus, yellow and tropical fevers. A mosquito becomes a carrier of malaria when it bites an infected person. Malaria spreads throughout the insect's body, and after four days, the mosquito is a carrier of this deadly disease and remains dangerous for another six weeks. Malaria is widespread in African countries, but they don't even try to fight it. Tsetse fly There are 23 species of flies by this name. They carry a terrible disease called African trypanosomiasis, Tsetse flies are the worst enemy of the inhabitants of tropical regions of Africa. Each year, up to 7,000 people die from sleeping sickness. During the disease, a person begins to have a fever, insomnia, headaches, and swelling of the lymph nodes, affecting the immune and nervous systems. If treatment is not started in time, it's almost always fatal. Tsetse flies, like mosquitoes, are also blood-sucking insects, 
but the bite mark is much more serious. The fly's tiny teeth bite into the skin and leave a noticeable mark. The insect reaches the length of 1.5 cm and is distinguished by its yellowish color. The tsetse fly lives mainly in Africa. According to statistics, about 200,000 people in Uganda have died from a tsetse fly bite. Bullet Ant The largest ant, which reaches a length of 2.5 cm. You can meet this creature in the forests of Paraguay and Nicaragua at the base of large trees. The ant lives in large colonies and nests, and its bite is excruciating. The pain after the bite can last for 24 hours. Giant Peacock Caterpillar This caterpillar was nicknamed the Killer Caterpillar for a reason. After meeting it, several people die every year. It lives in South America. The caterpillar throws out the strongest poison located on the bristles, which leads to hemorrhage and causes gangrene. Fire Ant There are more than 280 species of these ants on Earth. These small insects are aggressive, especially during the defense of their anthills. Such ants attack in groups of up to hundreds of insects. They bite frequently, causing burning pain. That's why they got such a name. Fire ants are native to South America, but today, this insect could be found all over the world. Centipede The centipede lives everywhere. Almost all people have the most pleasant feelings about its appearance. A centipede bite is quite painful, but a fatal case is possible only if you are allergic to its poison. This is perhaps the most harmless creature on our list. Kissing Bug Like most of the most dangerous insects, the kissing bug also feeds on blood. It got its name because it bites people during sleep on the lips and eyes. He is attracted by the carbon dioxide released by breathing. This unpleasant creature is very dangerous because it's a carrier of the parasitic trypanosome, which causes Chagas disease. Because of this disease, about 12,000 people die every year. Symptoms may not appear immediately. After a few weeks, a person starts feeling weakness, pain throughout the body, and the tonsils swell. The kissing bug lives mainly in the United States, but can be found in Africa, Australia, and Asia. It has black and red colors. It's dangerous not only for people, but also for animals. There is no vaccine for Chagas disease yet, and doctors use antiparasitic drugs for treatment. Japanese Giant Hornet This hornet species is one of the largest. The largest individuals reach 4 to 5 centimeters in length. Each hornet can kill up to 40 bees in just one minute. Hornets live in large colonies, where their number can reach up to 700. They feed mainly on honeybee larvae and are very aggressive. The sting of the giant Japanese hornet can cause a severe allergic reaction. Up to 40 people die each year from its sting. Asian Giant Hornet This is the largest hornet that can be found on our planet. Its length reaches 5 cm and its wingspan is 7.5 cm. The hornet can sting many times with its 6 mm stinger. You can find the Asian giant hornet in Asia in the mountains of Japan. The pain of an Asian giant hornet is so intense that it's often compared to having a hot nail driven into your leg. But in addition to painful sensations during the hornet's sting, it also emits a specific smell that attracts other hornets. About 70 people die from the bite of an Asian giant hornet every year. African Honey Bee This famous bee killer is one of the most aggressive insects on the planet. These bees hunt in a group, can sting several times, and chase their prey for more than a kilometer. Its stings are especially dangerous on the eyes and face. Bees live in a huge colonies of up to 80,000 individuals. In the 1950s, an attempt to increase honey production resulted in thousands of hybrids. In 1956, Brazilian biologist Warwick Kerr decided to add some traits of African bees to European bees. In his opinion, this hybrid would live well in the hot tropics and give more honey. This is how the Africanized bee appeared, which was very aggressive. Under very mysterious circumstances, about 20 colonies were released. The biologist hoped that the bees would quickly die, but they began to interbreed with drones and produce offspring. 
and new species of bees settled in South America and then in North America. Already in the 1980s, the hybrid could be found in Mexico and the United States. Now, these bees can be found in Texas, California, Arizona, Nevada, Florida, and other southern states. Over the 60 years of their existence, these hybrids have resulted in the death of more than 400 people and hundreds of animals, domestic and wild. Their attack can be fatal because they all together rush to defend their hive and their number can exceed 10,000 individuals. Therefore, everyone who is within a radius of 5 meters from the hive will be chased by bees. Oriental Rat Flea These fleas live where rats are. They live with them in the neighborhood and periodically switch to a rodent to refresh themselves. Females absorb more blood than males. The danger of these fleas is that they are active carriers of rat typhus and plague. The flea doesn't leave its prey and is on the rodent or in the neighborhood. Each species poses a serious danger to humans and animals. They can also infect their prey with helmets. Their saliva contains allergens that can cause reactions in both humans and animals. Typically, their bites are harmless and painless that can cause itching and inflammation. Often, by scratching the wound, animals introduce themselves to a second infection. Widespread infection after multiple bites can cause fatal anemia, especially in small animals. The Black Plague epidemic, carried by rats, claimed millions of lives in Europe in the 14th century. Today, the disease is very rare in Europe, but it has progressed in poorer countries. Dorylus or Siafu These are nomadic blind ants that live in African countries. Today, there are more than 20 million of them. Although these ants are blind, thanks to pheromones, they know exactly where to go. They bite everyone they meet with their powerful hook-like jaws. Bites from these insects kill over 50 people every year. Bites can lead to serious complications and without medical attention, a person can die. A huge variety of different creatures live on our planet. Many of them are harmless, but some are quite dangerous. The danger of insects lies in their very tiny size, so people often don't even notice them. But when you're in the forest or in nature, you should always take care of your safety. Choose things that cover as much as possible all parts of your body and use special repellents that will protect you from insect bites. Well, which insect causes fear in you?